Hello everyone, I'm Austin. I am your host and gamer for today. My pronouns are he and him. And as always, this stream is presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a rotating cast. Our wars end. Alright, let's check out the epilogue stuff. The infirmary has been added. The cenotaph has been added. The cenotaph has been added. Hmm, probably not the same. Hard skirmishes are now available. A new skirmish has been added. For your outstanding service to the Federation, our government has awarded you the Federation Star of Valor. Got a standard sight. After all that, we finally get something to look look down our guns along. To complete the main story, check the training, R&D, and skirmish section. The more of the game you complete, the more new content you'll unlock. Jesus, that's a hell of a lot of stuff. All right. I think this might be the scene from post credits that we already saw, but got to watch it anyways to uh, move the the story book along. Also, I noticed last time that. First set out. Yeah, this scene knew was, that was uh, worth the only for. thing shown after um, of us could have foreseen what the fight Claude is us. seen saluting the sinking Maybe. centurion, which basically Maybe means that unless you do the post-game stuff, you don't know whether or not he just let Riley bleed out on the top of the Hoffin because he was too busy saluting the sinking ship. Through all the hope. And you just don't see Angie Tragedy. again. The things I hold on to are the memories of my friends, of their smiles. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. Especially since that's the note it ends on, is Riley turning to the camera, smiling, and then With fading the to white. With the announcement of a ceasefire, the Second European War came to an abrupt end, leaving soldiers and civilians alike to count the Eastern Theater's almost unfathomable losses, a death toll numbering over 10 million. It had been a global war, a conflict beyond anything the world had ever faced. Historians speculate that the ceasefire saved Europa from a cataclysmic drop in population. Yet the truth of Operation Cygnus and of the Valkyria themselves was swiftly hidden from the public eye. And so this story of those who crossed the frozen sea passed into history untold. I... This may be extremely cynical of me, but I do not believe that if if the wider population knew the cost of setting off an A2 bomb that they would actually give a shit. They would see it as just like a necessary thing to finish the war. Putting a literal child and make it into a device that makes her explode. Alright, we've seen this. Can I not, can I not skip this? Yeah, I cannot skip this. Okay. Well, not that long. Oh, is that actually... Huh. I thought there'd be... Like, more pages. Alright. Uh, let's go over to headquarters then. Let's do some upgrading. 
check out the mess hall. Oh, hi, Claude. I hear you've been improving as a leader. That those orders you've been learning have something to do with it. Anyways, keep up the good work, Commander. Okay, so it's just the final message. All right. Oh, hey, Claude. Hmm. No upgrades. Even after. Oh, there we go. Wow. Hmm. Do I want to spend money on the anti armor ones? Let's. We'll, we'll come back to that. Because I did run out of money after. Uh, trying to upgrade the ship previously. So I don't want to run into that again. Wow. You're right, it is a shame to use it. I'm not gonna use it. I want accuracy. Okay. Slight improvement. Use the bigger one. Better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Not gonna take that. Because other than facing off Ki against Kiara and Nicola when they just fucking run up and one shot the glory from behind or using an order. It's been fine. Um, okay. Now we can develop those anti armor mortars. Uh, this is oh. gonna take a while. Keep it rolling. All All done, Cla okay, let's compare these. We've got 550 range, 650 range. Aim B, aim D. 240 versus personnel, 600 versus personnel. 1320 versus armor. Okay. Have a look at the command room. Okay. Okay. I haven't been oh, using wonderful. Millennia. So we'll take her out. Because I want to have. I think I want to have four Grenadiers active, two anti armor, two anti personnel. Um. 
Take out Ryan. Oh yeah. And that should give me enough space. Yep. Can get rid of. Do we want to get rid of Liam? Uh, nah, I think everything else is probably fine. I don't end up going through that many people. I can write about. Sounds good. Okay. and Riley, the range bonuses. Honor. You can take the rusty pandex and Aoife. You will get the standard sight, proof belt, or enhanced bullets. Uh, standard sight. Generally want range on the grenadiers so they can outrange their counterparts. Okay. Um, all right, so Riley and Connor will be the anti-personnel ones, and then Yasha and Aoife will be the anti-armor ones. Oh, they already have. Okay, they've already got the anti-armor, so it's actually these two who need to change. Okay. Yeah, none of these, none of these other ones, none of the rewards are as good as the fully upgraded stuff. HP, accuracy, and personnel damage. Three accuracy and 50 resistance. Hmm. What I really want is one that's like plus AP and plus accuracy. Personal and armor does seem pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. Get just a touch more damage and hopefully make a difference. Switch, stick with the winter camo. Yeah. All right, now for the training field. 
think we've only got one squad type left to, to upgrade. Oh, right, no, we did get that. Everyone's all using now to unlock and expand certain functions. Ooh. Visit the cenotaph and. Okay. Honor the memory of the fallen. It's so quiet here. I told myself this would happen. I thought I was ready. I guess you can't know how it feels until you actually lose someone. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'll never forget what it was like to fight at your side. Mm -hmm. The names of your fallen comrades will be etched into the cenotaph. Paying a designated amount of money lets you recollect on your memories of the fallen to resurrect them. <laughs> the amount of DCT necessary to revive a fallen comrade increases the number of times they've been killed in action. Can't get Raz back. Here you go, Minerva. Your lesbian girlfriend's back alive. Damn, why you got so much more? Is it just because he died during a okay. thing? Okay, time to go. During a, a story beat? Crystal Ward, I will fight at my commander's side once again. Yeah! I'm Simon Bale, and I'm all set to tear some sorry suckers apart! Hmm, all right. Okay. Let's, let's rearrange the squad setup a little bit. Um, let's get Alicia out of here. Put in Crystal. I shall fight for Lieutenant Victor. She doesn't like anybody. Come on, Minerva lover. <laughs> all right. Um. Get Leon Hart out of here no so we can put Simon in. And then. Where is. Right, I took Leon Hart out. That was the other person I took out. Um, no, he didn't have it. Alright. Simon. Give you the improved belt. And then. Where's Crystal? There she is. Let's see. Aim and dodge. Or what was the thing? Armor and aim. Okay, so aim and dodge. What's the. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's interesting. Can bring people awesome. back from the dead by thinking about them at the graveside. All right, let's see what the infirmary is. Is this your first time here? Welcome to the infirmary. Well, we're actually equipped to help with more than just medical affairs. We can provide all kinds of support here. Just remember that we're here to help you in and out of combat. Use your renown at the infirmary to unlock different capabilities. The higher your score in battle, the more renown you will earn. Get higher scores to enable new functions. <coughs> Level cap increases you. As you change between summer and winter uniforms. Grants a random reward weapon. Unlocks additional upgrades for the Hoffin. Unlocks additional upgrades for radar. Allows you to view the interlude, a steamy ceasefire. Allows you to listen to the game's music in your private form. All right. First up is this. What is this? Um, then we're gonna want the Hoffman upgrades. Um, level caps for whom? Can I get all of them? I might be able to get all of them. 
But let's prioritize. Ah, just shy of getting all of them. Um... Get the snipers. Then we'll hold out to get the engineer one. Oh, you're heading out? Well, there's a lot we can do for you here. We hope to see you again. Y'all thought you were done training, huh? Just the man I was looking for. The Centurion can now sustain even more intense training for each of your combat classes. Your squad members can grow even stronger now. Push your troops to their limits and dominate the battlefield. <laughs> All right. That's a good question. No. Mm. Every a lot of XP to upgrade people right now. Class up? Is it like Trooper Master? Paragon classes. Classes promoted to the rank of Paragon receive even greater strength boosts and more powerful special bonuses. Paragon ranked classes can also develop more powerful weapons. Keep training until all the classes become Paragons. Shock Troopers, you've been promoted to Trooper Paragons. Congratulations! Grenadiers, you've been promoted to Grenadier Paragons. Wonderful! Huh. Okay. So I guess getting to level 21 will be a priority. Done for Alright. Um. So that probably unlocked stuff oh. for. People. Oh, right, I did the Hoffin. So let's see about the Hoffin getting stuff on. There we go. Insufficient funds. Okay. Yeah, can't get any of this stuff. Interesting. Okay. Ah, done already? All right. Um, squad stories or oh, wait, was that? Where's okay. Why, well, I really wish it would just let me jump to this new tab instead of having to flip through every single page. Steamy ceasefire. When does when is this between the Crystal Sea and the Winter Witch? Okay. Easy rags. It's not even meal time. Oh wait, it's later than I thought. That's odd. It's been hours since Claude left on recon. He and the others should have been back a long time ago. You worried too, boy? The lizard's getting pretty bad. I hope they're okay. Try again, Marie. Any word from Claude? Nothing. The storm brought all communications down. 
I knew reconnaissance in this weather was a bad idea. But we couldn't ignore that report. If there's even a chance the enemy is planning an ambush, we really have no choice but to confirm. In these temperatures, even the antifreeze will freeze over. I'm afraid I can't order a search party. If they don't return soon, we'll have to depart without them. No. How long will this damn blizzard last? Claude should know. You'd better get back here alive, Claude. And being the, the wind whisperer. Keep it together. We stop now and we're all dead. N don't worry. I'm well aware of that. Damn it. The snow's coming down so hard, every step is like sinking in quicksand. Not to mention these winds. Just trying to stand straight is like fighting against a tide. It's do or die, everyone. Just a little further. We won't make it much longer. This blizzard's got a couple hours left in it. We have to find cover or else... What? <sighs> Enemy soldiers! Twelve o'clock! Are those the imps laying an ambush for us? No. Judging from the rank and file, they're probably a recon team like us. I'd rather not engage in these conditions, but... Whoa! Guess we don't have much choice. This is pointless. The shots won't reach them. <laughs> so much for Dead Eye Kai. And my grenades are frozen stuck. I can't fire anything. Stay calm. The enemy's just as handicapped as we are. I don't think either side can engage, to be honest. Uh, kind of late to get cold feet. Besides, they're just grunts. That sounds like machine. That sounds like bullets to me. Sounds like Leave there's engagement the happening. Raz. Wait. Can't miss it point blank. Eat lead. Huh? Hey, what the? <laughs> get a load of this filthy darkson. His barrel's frozen over! The dumbass! Well, well. Seems Federation gear can't handle the cold. Raz, retreat! <laughs> Too late! You're dead! Huh? Uh, looks like our guns froze over too. <laughs> Bayonet time! God damn piece of scrap metal! Ah! Holy crap! He just threw that machine gun one-handed! Those things weigh a ton! Yeah, so what? I've got a heavy machine gun! You think the men of the North will lose to a bunch of pansies who prance around with girls? Uh. So what if I'm female, you knuckle-dragging grunt? I am a lieutenant, and more woman than you can handle! Just throwing their guns if you around? If you don't like me looking down on you, then first you'll have to prove you're stronger than me! Rah! Crap! We're out of stuff to throw! Then we go for close quarters combat! Oh uh, yeah? Put up your dukes! <sighs> now they're throwing punches! Give me a break. That's enough, all of you. Huh? Everyone stop it. What? It was just getting to the good part. I take it you're in command here? Yes. Looks like we both got lost down in the area. Yeah. We're in a real jam, truth be told. Weapons don't work, as you can see, and our winter gear won't last. We were just looking for a place to wait out the blizzard ourselves. And now, we're completely lost. We both need all the help we can get. Agreed. Let's call a ceasefire for now. Are people gonna hook up? <laughs> it's so cold. I can barely shiver. 
Waiting for the steamy of steamy ceasefire, unless they're all gonna hide out in a sauna. Good. The moment you stop shivering, you die. Stay moving to keep your body heat up. <sighs> I don't need advice from the likes of you. And don't walk over the fresh fallen snow. Step in our tracks to make it easier on you. Don't be stubborn. It's life or death here. F fine. I get our guns crapping out, but shouldn't yours be built for this kind of thing? Look, this is way colder than a normal Imperial winter. And even if our gear worked, we couldn't hit the broadside of a bunker in this blizzard. Excuses, excuses. At least the part about missing is true. <laughs> you couldn't fire a single shot, you filthy Darkson. And who's the bozo who couldn't shoot a Darkson? <sighs> I envy those clowns. Do they ever run out of steam? How dare he fraternize with the enemy? Emergency or no, the sight of it makes me sick. Does that look like fraternizing to you? What else would you call it? Mm hmm. So this is the real Winter Witch. <laughs> yes. I'm surprised you've heard that old folk tale. Blizzard's so cold, our ancestors called it black magic. Ah, okay. So that's where she gets her name from. Pretty terrifying when you think about it. Yeah, and there's two hours to go. How can you tell? Call it a hunch. I've got a knack for picking up changes in the weather. But if we hadn't come across you, we'd be dead in the snow. The Winter Witch's latest victims. Just having extra bodies to block the wind is a lifesaver. But the looks of it, your men took the windward side. I appreciate that. No thanks needed. Chivalry isn't completely dead. I have to say, I'm glad our weapons malfunctioned. And we were this close to outright killing each other. We may have lost our bread and salt, but at least we have our vodka. Huh? Old Imperial saying, like you say in the West, every cloud has a silver lining. Feels strange breaking bread. Moments ago we were staring down each other's barrels. Guess I'll have to count my blessings. Hmm? The blizzard should be dying down soon. There's one more blessing to count. Uh, the blizzard's died down, but I'm still freezing my balls off. Surrounded by so much white. It's hard to tell if we're even moving forward. <laughs> hey, Claude. Why doesn't that area have any snow? Huh, you're right. Those rocks over there aren't covered at all. Oh, could it be? Hmm. What's the matter? I need help over here. Come on, gather around. Is it a so, Claude, hot tub? What's so special about these rocks? A natural, uh geothermal uh pool can't you tell the snow is being melted from beneath ah of course that means do you have any explosives we have grenades but the pins are frozen stuck let me see them but sir we need them in case of an emergency <laughs> 